Okay, so where we left off last time, we entered a mine with uh, this guy. Kip, I think? Maybe? I don't know. I forget his name already. <laughs> and you can't tell me hints or anything because I'm doing this all in one day. So in the comments, if something doesn't get done in the next video, that's because it was already finished. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel has collapsed off. Without a vehicle... Oh, oops, wrong guy. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead, anyways? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I hope he's okay. The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. So we need a vehicle? Do be careful in here. Make it a run for it! Err. Safety violation! <laughs> it's another one of those shrimp jars. And another one. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. So what am I supposed to do, exactly? Should I go back to the factory? This reminds me of Waterfall from Undertale. Oh, well there you are again. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Go on then, ask away. Can you tell me about the Barrens? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So, you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. One more question. Tell me about the tower. How tall is the tower? I cannot seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Cypher will know what to do. I see. In time. Wait, it's, an, it's different. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright to take a nap? Sure, you go right ahead. Oh, that closes the game. What is this? Oh, is this like a dream? Nice illustrations. Cypher, are you still there? Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. <laughs> it's a big ball of fire in the sky. I know. I don't think I would be able to hold it like, like I do with the sun from our world. Oh, from your world. This isn't my world. I also have a big ball of helium and everything, just fusion, fission, all that science stuff in the sky. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, uh, I guess not. 
If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your homeworld called? Uh, Earth. Earth? Like, the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Yes, it's a sun. It's a well, it's not. It's the sun, but it's a star. One of the many stars in the universe. Wow. Can you hold it? No. That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes. At night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah. Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> I wonder who does that? I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. Ah, uh, what's this? It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of these terminals. I can use that to pry open that box. I'm sure people were getting angry at me telling me, No! You're supposed to go up first! Oh, right, there's something in the air here It hurts to breathe. Okay, so I have gone up here, I just completely missed that thing on the left. Okay. I can pry open that box, which is over here. I think. I should be able to. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. I Oh, I, I thought I selected it. Okay. The pipe won't fit under the crack, Cypher. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Yes, we will. With a metal crusher, perhaps? Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Cypher? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. Okay, got a flattened pipe now, which can be used as a makeshift crowbar to pry open a box. That, what, has something like a key inside of it? Hey, you're in the way, man. Hello. Thank you. Keep going through the wrong door. Yeah, crowbar, okay. Ah. Okay. This bar should open it. There's a metal... There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like... Looks like what used to be a machine part. I can't read. It says, solar battery on the side. I can use that to power something. So, a broken battery. Wasn't there like a charging... Wasn't there something to charge things up with? Maybe this thing is. Is this a charger? It's a power cell, I think. Oh! The word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Oh, I can't use it though? Oh, I thought I could use that. The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. But nothing happened. Yeah, I know, we, it needs to be charged. That's what I thought this thing was. I thought we could charge it and then throw it into the machine. Okay, I need some other way to charge it. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. 
As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Where? <laughs> Oh, there's a safe. Yeah. Large screwed in lens. Use the screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. Done. Oh. A large glass lens. Alright. Into the battery! Oh, wait, that actually worked. <laughs> the lens pops right in. Empty battery. Oh. Okay, well that was just by chance. Can I recharge it now? Oh wait, maybe I need to have it selected. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it just goes right in here? But nothing happened. Okay. Using the sun directly in the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Cypher. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Oh. I'm a genius! Not really. Oh, whoops. I keep forgetting I have to actually select stuff in this game. Let's hope the charged battery does something. Yes. Whoa! What did it do? Ow! I just got shocked! <laughs> Achievement unlocked! Shock! Oh! Robots are walking around now. They're alive! I am functional! Did you power the generator? I guess we did. Right, Cypher? How about you? I am functional! I can walk! It's a miracle. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with this area. Oh wait, there's a computer. I see you've made progress in this world, Cypher. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. While the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Cypher? Something popped up. Um. Maybe? You still don't know the extent of the world's deterioration, do you, Cypher? <sighs> Most of the time, stray pieces of this world would be lost to blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. I was able to salvage it because Nico needs the code to progress. Now go find it. Oh, are you telling me the code is in my documents? Because that's crazy if it is. Wow, it is! Oh, this is so crazy. This thing came up. Dear Paul, hello. Hmm, a message to you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that... Here, read it, and you will know what to do. I have also... You... Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east. Somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point, the code you need is 733-885. Seven three three eight eight five. Okay. Let's 
it's not blooming away anymore, right? Okay. Ah, uh, right? Huh? The document turned up. Okay. 733885. I kind of thought that's what it meant, like, not quite in this world. That's crazy. So, computers are somebody communicating directly to me. <gasps> it's my computer communicating to me. Oh wait, this ain't it. What was that over there? Nothing. Now, where's that box? There it is, okay. Seven three three eight eight five. Whoa, it worked! Wait, how did you know the code, Cypher? I still don't remember seeing one. I have my ways. I see. What's in the safe? Oh, right. Let's see. Ah, I found a gas mask. There it is. Also, this weird looking book. I can't read it though. Not that I can... Not that I can't read or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language this is. Uh, what? What is that? Found in the Barrens, it's written in an unknown language. It's a void, connecting my world to yours. Actually, you know what, maybe that is. <laughs> That's crazy that it, like, makes a file in your documents folder. Okay, so I got a gas mask, so let's put that on. I'll wear it when I have to. Oh, I don't need to put it on now then, okay. Well, the further north you go, I guess the more you have to wear it. So let's do that over at the first part. Run, Nico, run! Hey, there's a robot you can talk to. I am functional! Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. the north we go around the train car diner okay there we go I should be fine with oh I should be fine with this mask on Okay, so it's not, like, pollutants, it's, like, natural methane or something like that. Something you're not supposed to breathe in. I don't know if methane hurts to breathe in. I've never... In, I've never directly inhaled it before. This vent on the ground... Oh. All the others are taller than me. Was that the vent talking? <laughs> Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the Barons. Oh, oops. Blah 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 blah. Okay, let's just go back. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphorus shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys.
Okay, so they're helping. Yeah, there was another gas part just to the right. Like, like there is now. Unless they both just connect. Oh, game's kind of loud. I gotta turn it down a bit for me. I am functional! Oh. Hello. Do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Looks like a coliseum. Or a library. Or a records keep. Evacuation? At such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Alright. That's a long climb. I'm scared of ladders. You're scared of ladders? What? What kind of phobia is that? Okay. Fear of heights? Infirmary! So did I just power everything up, I guess? Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Oh, wrong button. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected, none. Treatment required, none. You are good to go. Er, thanks. What are you doing? Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Are you like playing with like... I don't know. Almost looks like a rubber band. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rested beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Okay, so I got a... Where are you? Empty syringe. Maybe I can take some of the shrimp out with it. Maybe. Picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Cypher. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um... <clears throat> Beep boop! I'm a robot and I eat berries instead of normal people food. Oh, batteries. Oops. Hehe. <laughs> That is not correct. Eat batteries, not berries. I am a person. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not po possess di- I cannot read. Robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Cypher? You made me look silly. <laughs> How's your fear of ladders? Hello! Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Well, that was worthwhile. Don't worry about looking silly in front of robots. They have no souls. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Checking. Checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. 
some of the ink on the page has faded, likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Those things look like train car diners. Hello, do you need any help? I'm good, thanks. Whoa, you're a big robot, Iron Giant. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard the settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. What does that even mean? It's a power cell, I think. It's raining on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Lots of tiny shrimps swimming in this jar. It's looking a little dim. Okay, I can't use them for this, the syringe. I thought it was like some kind of goop. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said that it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus spots to the city at this rate, and we work so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our, our turn soon. I'm scared of ladders. Huh. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We've been making progress. We're, we're making progress. And yeah. Very interesting stuff to do. It's not like the usual get a key to find another key sort of thing. No, you have to actually think about it. And that's cool. But anyways, thanks for watching the second part of One Shot. And we'll see you in the next part. Very interesting how it puts stuff in your documents folder. Anyways, goodbye.